Hi everyone, so this is a really quick follow-up to my tutorial um, from a while ago, Controlling a Robotic Machine in Unity. And I had a lot of people ask me how would they go about limiting the rotation of, and we'll demonstrate a little bit of this. So you can see the, the rotation is not limited here and the arm just goes through the machine on itself. Now. I've corrected the issue and you'll see now the machine's rotation this way is limited because what I've done in the script is I've set up a rotation minimum and a rotation max for for just the top the robot base okay it's not for the upper arm so let's just look at the script real quick um, let me uh, so let me uncomment this this is what we were doing originally which was just taking this robot base which is just a transform it's kind of like saying transform rotate and nothing in the x nothing in the z but let's rotate in the y by this turn rate which is kind of the speed you could set and by the slider value when you're dragging that ui slider so what i did was i went ahead and just commented out that direct rotation and i said all right well, let's, let's look at just like a base rotation here, this robot base. Actually, let me zoom in. I forget in my tutorials to do this for you guys. So, oh, control plus plus. And the shortcut is not working for some odd reason. So basically we have these three new variables here. We need a base rotation and it's private. So it's hidden, we don't ever need to see it. This is just, an internal, um, it's keeping track internally of what rotation it's at. So, okay, so we're saying let's take that and by default, the rotation of the base, which if we look at robot control here, the robot base is this platform here. We wanna rotate just this platform here. Um, it's rotated Y around zero. So that's the base rotation for that, okay? But we want to add to that zero and we want to say take the slider value and the basically the speed, that turn rate, and uh, let's make the, uh, the base rotation that value, okay, times our slider. So it'll move based on that. Then we want to take that value that we have from you dragging the slider that we're getting, that's updating, and we want to clamp it, math F clamp, okay. We want to take the base rotation and then we want to set a minimum and a maximum. That's what MathF clamp needs. Um, a lot of the times you'll see it like this. Hard-coded numbers in here. So it, the rotation would have a minimum of negative 90, a maximum of 90. But we want to have a lot of versatility to where you could set these values in the inspector, which you can right here. I've set them to 45. So we use variables in there instead. And then here we just tweak the Euler angles, which is, uh, you know, uh, quaternion rotations here. Instead of doing just this direct rotation we were doing earlier, we're adjusting the Euler angles and we're saying, all right, let's create a new vector three for X, Y, and Z. Let's take the transform robot base, which is that base. And for X, it's whatever it's uh, Euler angles rotation is for X and for Z. And the only one we want to tweak for the base is the, uh, the Y rotation, rotates around Y. So we use that robot, robot base Y rotation, which is set up here at the slider. So I don't know if I rambled or made any sense, but when you drag this slider, it rotates and the math F clamp is functioning. So uh, we can also, let's go in here and set much wider rotation values. Okay. I'm going to drag it. It'll go all the way. It'll go quite a bit further. See? And it's limited. Okay? So it's basically these three new lines and then this line where we're doing the direct rotation um, commented out. Okay? So by seeing that, you realize how you could set this up for the upper arm using this same setup for the upper arm. Um, one of the only differences about the upper arm is it's rotating around X here. This is the X, Y, Z. 
okay? So your, your base, yeah, let's just go ahead and do it. Let me just suck it up and do it. So I'm gonna hit Control C, and we're gonna go down and paste it, and we're gonna say, create a new, we've gotta create a new variable here. Robot upper arm X. We're gonna steal that slider value. We're gonna steal that turn rate. Whoa, my copy and pasting was wigging out. Copy that in. We can comment this out. No more direct, we're not gonna do the uh, transform rotate method. Okay, let's paste that. And we don't want to rotate the robot base. We want to rotate. Okay, I get ahead of myself. I'm going to hit save. I realize we're going to need to copy the variables as well. that in there do, 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 do. I'm singing kick I'm hum, humming Christmas music it's a little ridiculous okay we'll make that the robot upper arm X rotation minimum and this one the max and I'm just doing a lot of copy and pasting the minimum Max. Okay, let's look. R robot upper arm X rotation. Okay, we're not using that. We're using that. So we want to clamp the robot's upper arm. Okay, to a minimum for the upper arm, to a maximum to the upper arm. Oh, we're not adjusting the Euler angles of the robot base. We're adjusting them for the robot upper arm. So let's see here. The robot's upper arm X rotation is going to be added to by the robot upper arm slider value times the upper arm turn rate. Okay, correct. The robot upper arm X rotation is going to be clamped. This value is going to be clamped between a minimum and a max. Then we're going to take that robot upper arm's Euler angles and we're going to do nothing to the X, do nothing to the Z. Rotate base Y. Oh, yeah, we don't want that. We want to take this value. Control C. All right, and I'm going to go file. Well, I already hit Control S and save. So get a good look at that. Pause the video. Get a good look at this part of the video here to copy the script. And um, we're going to wait. Okay, it's automatically by default clamped to 45. Let's see if it clamps. Something's not right. That's rotating the same way as this is. Look at that. That is wicked looking. Okay. Aha. I put this in the Y, but it's an X rotation. Oh, okay. So there we go. That's the correction. We wanted this to rotate around the X. That was my mistake, not the Y. Let's give it another try. Okay, we're clamped in Y. Let's see if we're clamped in the... Oh my goodness. Look at that. Beautiful. So your robot's like looking down. and So now you can see... I think we could change this in real time and clamp this to something. Um, a lot smaller. Yeah, look at that. Okay, so without further ado in going crazy here, these are the new variables that were added to this script. And this is the new section for the bases rotation. And these are the three new lines for the arm rotation. You could uh, just keep adding different pieces and you could have 
the base rotating, the arm rotating, and then a rotation on this little piece here, rotation on a drill bit. It could, you could get insane on the amount of pieces that rotate by using these principles. Uh, let me see if I can, oh, look at that, control zero, and it goes back to the, the normal size. So control S, save that, and that right there shows you how you can clamp the rotation values.